many people are saying that this is really an assault on creativity. That in our country, we can imagine, we can imagine things differently. They don't always have to follow some sort of textbook. And therefore, we must not take away the license for creativity. Because if we do, we will become a monochromatic society stuck in a time warp, and we will become much like those that uh, we don't. So let's, let's ask these questions tonight. I want to first begin with Murtaza Ali Khan, film critic, Mithun Vijay Kumar, Advaita Kala is also there with us, Dr. Ranganathan, all are here. L let me first begin with you, Mr. Murtaza Ali Khan. What do you make of this controversy that has erupted? I agree that the film has not been released, so we don't know. But on the basis of some pictures that have emerged as part of the trailer, many fee people, especially on the Hindu side of the fence, are finding it uh, contemptuous. Let's put it like that. See, even as kids, we are taught that never judge a book by its cover, you know, and so this is a very premature assessment that this film is anti-Hindu or the portrayal is, you know, completely, you know, uh, out of place. I personally feel that, you know, the filmmaker Owen Rawat, you know, he has a very good track record and he's somebody who really is meticulous and puts years and years of research into a film. Like when I talked to him before the release of Tanaji, he told me that he, you know, spent years in order to understand what kind of sword, you know, a Rajput should wield or what kind of sword a Maratha should wield, which sword should be curved and which should be straight. So he's that kind of person. So when he's doing a research on a film like Adi Purush, he's spending at least three to five years. And he's not just studying the Raman and Sagar as we all revere it. I know the Raman and Sagar version of Ramayana is something that I have also grown up watching. It's really you know, something that we all look up to. But there are so many versions of Ramayana. Ramayana is a very vast subject. So you cannot, you know, pinpoint it that, okay, only the Raman and Sagar version of Ramayana is something. Arun Govilji is a character who has been related to Lord Rama. But Lord Rama is much bigger than Arun Govil. If we continue to see Arun Govil as Lord Rama, and our coming generations will also continue to see Arun Govil as Lord Rama, then that is not right. We should allow technology, you know, to come in. And if using technology, keeping the sanctity of Ramayana, the beauty of Ramayana and the morals that Lord Rama, you know, uh, stands for, if we can somehow come up with a modernized version, there's nothing wrong in that. And I am at all for CBFC, you know, if there is something that is wrong, something that goes awry, then CBFC can always step in and curtail it. And even, you know, not even issue the certificate to the film. But this kind of, you know, uh, outrageous behavior that, you know, we're going to soothe the filmmaker, we're going to, you know, stop him from releasing the film, that is, I think, in a very bad taste. But it's also reflected of the kind of hyper, you know, uh, behavior that we've seen on the social media. Even, okay. you know, when Moody so came out with that new national emblem we saw how people overreacted and later on they realized that it was actually right okay okay fair enough i mean